This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Undo the two Torx screws and remove the passenger side lower fascia panel. Disconnect any wiring plugs as the panel is removed. With the front seat in the rearmost position, unclip the front side section of the centre console. Carefully prise the end panel from the fascia. Prise out the glove box light and disconnect the wiring plug. Remove the two screws at the lower edge of the glove box. The glove box is now secured by six Torx screws. Note that some of the screws have integral washers. Note their fitted positions and remove the screws. Carefully ease the glove box rearwards, feeding any wiring through the apertures as the glove box is withdrawn. Pull back the front edge of the carpet. Then slide up the fuse box and move it to one side. Pull away the front edge to release the clips and remove the filter cover. Slide the old filter element from the housing. The filter element has arrows at the end indicating airflow. These arrows must point rearwards into the cabin. Maneuver the new filter element into the slot in the heater housing and carefully slide it into place. Engage the rear edge of the filter cover with the hinges in the housing, then press the front edge towards the housing to secure the clips. Clip the fuse box back into its original location. Then fold up the carpet. Maneuver the glove box into place, feeding the wiring through the aperture. Firmly press the glove box into position in the fascia. Then refit the six Torx screws and tighten them securely. Reconnect the wiring plug and refit the glove box light. Tighten the two screws at the lower edge of the glove box. Press the fascia end panel back into place. Refit the front side section of the center console and return the seat to its original position. Reconnect the wiring plug, then refit the lower fascia panel and securely tighten the retaining screws.